、自分がこうしていくんですが、次が FF4 ですね。ファイナルファンタジーが続くんですけれども、ファイナルファンタジー4の PSP 版があるんですが、どなたかわかる方がいらっしゃれば、解説に入っていただけるとすごいありがたいんですが。ザ・デスネーズ、この FF4 の、えー、プロジェクトに行くと、ファイナルファンタジー4がのプレイの予定時間36分となっているのでおそらくはそうなんですよね FF4 が分かっててもおそらくストーリーを解説するようなタイミングはないと思うんですよねファイナルファンタジファイナルファンタジー4のエニーパーセントの RTA がわかる人が、わかりま、わかるよって人がいれば、解説してもらえると<笑>。<笑>フフ4のぞ、あ、フフ4の続編、続編的な形なんですね。本編とはまた別のやつってことですかね。ちょっと少し離席をしますすぐ戻ってます
without further ado, we're going to kick it over to our runner with the Final Fantasy IV interlude. Hello, hello. I think, hello. I think we're ready to roll. Uh-oh. Hey, no! <laughs> no, Twitter account, why? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, geez, who, who picked these uh, social media people anyway? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for myself. Uh, I, like, I like that your game is a broken JPEG. <laughs> for PS oh yeah, PSP, broken JPEG, it's, it's the same thing, you know? Yeah. Well, there's an easy enough fix for it, but I, I, I can't entirely disagree with the, uh... Final Fantasy is also PSP and this is PSP and the setup of the time was so much it was not that it was Remix actually did get sniped there at the very end so oh, oh Remix so, huh? Remix. so we're gonna have Remix music yes we are alright oh, yeah. thank you so much for those last three minutes so all, all your practice on the Remix music is gonna pay off then I know yeah. I was just saying I haven't practiced with the original music it's gonna throw me off <laughs> <laughs> just like I haven't pr practiced with component I've practiced with composite, so <laughs> these oh, graphics geez. are gonna be too good for me. Yeah. All right, ready? Start. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh yeah. All right, so this is Final Fantasy IV: The Before After Years. <laughs> <laughs> this takes place two years after the end of Final Fantasy IV. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, this comes on a, um, uh, a a disc for the PSP called uh, the Final Fantasy IV Complete Collection, which has Final Fantasy IV, uh, Final <laughs> Fantasy IV, the After Years, and if that is not Final Fantasy IV for you, then there is this original content. So, like I said, it just said is kind of meant to be a, uh, a tie-in between Final Fantasy IV and the After Years. <laughs> so this whole story doesn't make sense to me. So if it doesn't make sense to you, it doesn't make sense to me either. So don't worry about it. <laughs> oh well, it, it's basically we're we're just off on vacation, as far as I know. You know we're just gonna go right. You know, they're going on a cruise uh, over in Final Fantasy Land. A cruise involves <laughs> airships, not like sea ships. You know. The fastest airships you will ever yes. see. <laughs> wow, gotta hustle. He's late for that vacation. He's just gotta go. So actually, what is the story? What are you, what are you doing? There? So we start out, Castle Damsian has been rebuilt, and Edward is now the king, and so he's having a party, and here we go! Yeah. So we're so excited to get there. <laughs> we're on our super fast airship. Man, they should add motion blur. <laughs> <laughs> so now we meet Rydia. She's going to leave the land, well, and this is called the Feywarch, the land of summon monsters. She's going to the party too, except <laughs> she doesn't, never actually makes it there, unfortunately. Eh, it's fine. So now back to our airship. We're still <laughs> traveling yeah. for some reason. <laughs> Going on <Yeah>. a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> and now we've got a good line here. I'll, I'll let you read it. Oh. See. Sid never fails to amaze. He's already managed to catch up with us. <laughs> Who would have guessed? I know. How did he catch up to us? We were going full speed. So now here we are at Damsian Castle. Oh yeah. Now it's all pretty. They've even got flowers. And guess what? Edward's second girlfriend dies. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers! Oh, <laughs> so we've got a bunch of friends here, all in Borum, you know, doing their usual things, whacking each other. Like siblings do. Borum, I've seen it before. 
一応本編の方はあるんで、あれですけど、なんかすごい、イラストが綺麗になりすぎてて、すごい違和感みたいな。He's got a whole collection. <laughs> just this, just the one room. Okay, it's a guest room, one bed there, surrounded by dolls just staring at it. No, seriously, I slept in one of those. It was so scary. Okay? I、you、can imagine、sleep. Edward having a room like that. <laughs> so then the crystal went ding for some reason. We don't know why. As crystals are wont to do. I know. Now they're like, something's happening on Mount. Hobbs? Is that what it is? <laughs> I can't even remember the name、Mount、of the mountain. Mount J. Hobbs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mount J. Hobbs. <laughs> the monks are being attacked, and so Yang is worried, and we say, Cecil and Rosa、yes. say, okay, we're going to go. Because, as, as, as all high, high quality、uh, video games,、um, this game reuses a lot of maps from Final Fantasy IV. There are a couple unique ones、yeah. that are not in Final Fantasy IV. It's a little bit slower to get to the fighting than FF4,、yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so we have to walk. Our airship is too fast to take us there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then just for safety, I'm going to do a safety save. So now we're actually going to get into some. Not too many though. So now this map is new. Mount Hobbs looks different from the way it did in FF4. Why does it look different? They, they explain that. It's because now there's only one moon, and so it changed the topography.、Yeah. So、they actually <laughs> say that in the game. The topography is different because now there's only one moon. Yeah, yeah. with all those earth tides, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That was good, only、oh. one battle. Oh, by the way, if you love the boss in Mount h o b b s in Final Fantasy IV, Mom Bomb, you'll like,、uh, you'll like this upcoming boss even more.、Oh, we, yeah. we won't spoil it until.、Uh, <laughs> どういうストーリーなんですか全くわからないから。<laughs> oh my gosh. What could it be? Say hello to Dad Bomb! Dad Bomb! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, son, I'm having a blast. Dead bomb. Wow, he's got muscles. I know I can't escape. It doesn't matter, that doesn't cost any time. We just have to wait. まあ、こうとしてるんですかね。Yeah, just like Mom Bomb in Final Fantasy IV, you have to wait for the big angry looking for him to explode before the fight really starts. ああ、これは。あそこで殴っても意味ないから、自爆待ちってことですか。Let's see if I can raise my other monk. So I'm losing some time there because my monk died. I like how only some of the bombs are actually floating, too. Yep. Yeah, but we're going to be able to raise the grandpa bombs or something. Hey, we're going to raise again. So th th there's auto battle on this game, and basically what it does is if you have the memory cursor on, then whatever your cursor is set, you can actually do the action. Yeah, and it、over. also does speed up the animations, too. So she's going to be using that. Basically, when, as much as she can, just to speed up fights. Yeah. But、That's、sometimes you get things like trying to raise someone you already raised. It's fine. But that's okay. It goes so fast, it doesn't cost much time. I, hey, you're not dead, b I thought you were dead. You're not good at staying alive. Yeah, that's the m a t t e r It's really good. Wow, there's so many bombs here. Cecil just couldn't keep up. With、no. a couple donations, see if you guys, if you don't mind. Yeah,、oh, sure,、no. go ahead. Hey, bro, Sensha. Oh, I'm not going to get a surprise. Go ahead. Just kidding. Thanks for all the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks also to Nami. And then it's $10 from Eternal Cow. Thank you so much. Eternal Cow? Do, do we still happen to have any of those balloons around to throw at him if it gets too bad with the bun? The Fields of Hyojin character is completely different. Fledgling Rook. 
We have a, another $10 donation from Professor Ness that says, Hey, bro, sent no. you. <laughs> he, where, where is he? He's, uh, there he is. <laughs> okay, go on. No puns, per se. Just donating to get in on this Final Fantasy entry loop. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. Yeah, thank you. And it's like... Now the new thing is, let's not pun. I like this game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like this. I really like this. Okay, hey, so Monk A and Monk B left our party. Those poor monks, they don't even get names. Mm. Just Monk A and Monk B. So we find out Yang's wife is having a baby, but for some reason he won't come. So we're like, fine, we'll go check on her. We care more about her than you do. It's like, my mere presence will cause her to give birth. Okay, Neff, listen. The baby is out. <laughs> <laughs> Not the baby. <laughs> <laughs> and now Yang will come. <laughs> so they had a little girl, and Yang wants Cecil to name it. Not very small. The head is like the same size as everyone <laughs> else's head. <It's> like <laughs> giant. Giant. So Cecil chooses the name Ursula. Uh, I guess uh, they uh, haven't seen the yeah. little mermaid. It was old by the time this came out, you know? <laughs> so I like that Cecil is looking at the door, the window, but the airship came from the south. So that makes sense. So now the, it's the dwarves, and they're saying that something is up underground with the sealed cave. So we're going to go check it out. Except Rose is not feeling too good, so she's going to leave the party and stay here. But well, we get Paul and Porum. No. <laughs> they're, they're so dumb, okay? Like, seriously. They should have stayed statues. A memorial to their vanity. Okay. <laughs> so, so there, I, I just picked up an ether, an elixir, and spider silk. Okay. Spider silk? Yeah, it, ca it casts slow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I believe in the PSP version of FF4, it uh, also it's more effective than the down and the actual slow spell too. Oh, nice. Okay, time to go. So in our super fast airship again. Here we go. Only this one has a drill. Yeah. <laughs> Got a party. I like your airship dance. <laughs> it's a cruise, okay. <laughs> So now we see Eblin Castle, where Edge is here, and he's heading out. He's really late for the party. I don't know why. <laughs> they didn't send an invitation. <laughs> he just heard, like, invited. Cecil talking about it. You know, Cecil's like, oh, you go to the party? He's like, what? So what party? Like, oh, never mind it. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> don't Edge. listen. <laughs> Edge called a, you know, he just called a few friends. He's like, hey, girlfriend. I heard about a party. Okay. Okay, so we won't actually get to our destination until I talk to everyone. So that's the only way to speed up these airships, no, is by to talking to people. So now suddenly, oh, we're here! Cecil we're going to so fast! And Cecil and Cecil and Cecil are going to be It's that drill, it's really weighing it down, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if it weighs it down, how can it even fly? Just, like, tip this <laughs> Just way like, of rrr. flying. <laughs> Okay, so before I head out, I am going to buy some Phoenix Downs for safety. And I'll do a safety save too. So do you like the remix music for this? It's alright. It's pretty good. It's not bad. So in this run, we do the one dungeon that's always skipped in FF4 runs. Yeah, I think cave. Square Enix must have kind of wised up to the fact that you can actually skip the sealed cave completely in the Super Nintendo version, so they make you go there in, uh, <coughs> in the interlude. And we will have to fight some dragons. But hopefully, if all goes well, we'll be able to kill them before we turn to something else. Demon's War is not a trap. Like ninth dimension. It's not a Demon's War. オノをまるでオノをまるでなんかブーメランのように扱ってますけど。Yeah, auto battle. I hope 
Yeah, th these fights aren't really too dangerous just because her characters are actually pretty pretty over level. They're like so. at least level 30, all of them. That changes a little bit later on in the run, though, right? Not really. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. ゾクヘンというのもあいなってなってレベルが高いね。レベルが高いね。レベルが高いね。レベルが高いね。レベルが高いね。レベルが高いね。レベルが高いね。レベルが高いね。レベルが高いね。レベルが高いね。レベルが
It's not like you have to go visit every single place that you went to in the previous game. It turned blood red. Ooh. So I was like, let's go check it out. It's just plushy. It's plushy. It noticed, yeah, it's like, oh, Cecil noticed me. <laughs> Maybe Edge was hitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Edge. By the way, for some reason, for a few seconds there, you can't move. So he's going through this cave all on his own. He's kind of used to doing that. But he's not actually going to fight anything. Well, he's a ninja. He's got to go do sneaky things. He is being so sneaky. Got a couple more donations here for you guys, if you don't mind. Hey. Sure. Take it away. We have uh, seventy dollars from Anonymous that says, "Silly walking is best walking." Oh yeah. And we have twenty dollars from LLK that says, "LLK here." And finally, we get to the most important block of the marathon. <laughs> oh yeah. The silly games. I noticed that the incentive for dumb walking and West of Loathing still has not been met. As an artist and an yeah. animator, I very much appreciate the beauty and elegance that can only be conveyed by a stick person walking stupid. Thank you so much for that donation. Yeah. yeah, and thanks also to LLK for contributing a lot of artwork to uh, to help promote our event too. So this is something totally never seen before. Edge walking through the I think they would have patched up that hole, you know, after the last time. Wow, the laziest minions. So here we go, and the dwarf camp is still there. Oh, hey. They've been there for two years. Well, I mean, they're bigger than the mountains. They can't really get around them. Like, well, okay. Didn't they scrap the tanks at the end of Ithra Floor, though? Uh, apparently not. They I guess lied. not. They and forgot about geez. these six. You know? <laughs> oh, so we're just taking a quick tanks. nap before we go into the tower. Yeah. And this we didn't have to like do a staring contest for 18 hours or something <laughs> like that. Like uh, lightning has to do. Yep. All right, so we go to the first door and immediately get attacked. Now, if I'm lucky, one spell will finish it off. But lots of times I'm not that lucky. Come on. It's a fight. Fight you got to. Just a quick pass. Not bad. So after defeating that, Rydia had forgotten all her summons for some reason, but now she's got Shiva back. Yeah, Rydia. だからこのモンスターを倒していくことにリディアの召喚獣が復活するらしいんですよ。This the thunder doesn't have a weakness, so I'm just doing the saga on it. Oh, we got a toad! Yay! Uh, Way to go, toad! Oh, way to go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Poor toad. It's the best if Cecil gets turned into a toad in that fight, too, because after yeah, this cutscene, like, you go back together and then. Yeah, hey, we got a toad! Oh. <laughs> See? Kind of it doesn't even have to be Cecil. Now, also, I don't have time to lose another one. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get rid of Toad now. Now, also, like, it can't be. So, I'm gonna have to time to lose it. トードになった相手にもう一回トードを使うと人間に戻るっていうのがなかなか謎の部分ではありますよ。そうベッチ
コンソはイフリートですね。So Ifrit, so we've gotten Shiva, Ramu, Ifrit. So the last one. 最初がシヴァで、次がラムで、先ほどイフリート。Just for safety, I'm gonna、Leviathan. heal. This、yeah. is actually the most dangerous one. Leviathan. Yeah, because this fight right here has a really, really nasty counterattack, which is an earthquake, and it can also use it on its turn, too. Yeah, so if you physically attack it, it will counter with earthquake. So we do not want to do that with Cecil. And Rydia died, but that's okay. Rydia died. She wasn't doing anything. That's <laughs> <laughs>、yeah, during <laughs> contest with the tunneler wore her out and she had to take a nap. Ah, you got. There we go. But yeah, because of that counter attack, though,、um, she just needs to be careful with how she uses auto battle just to make sure she doesn't actually、Titan. attack it. Yeah, I wanted to keep Cecil ready in case,、um, in case Pollum got paralyzed, because then Cecil could use Asuna to get rid of that. But then Cecil got paralyzed, which didn't matter. Now Rydia just kind of walks off. She's still acting really strangely. And oh, a monster came out. Uh oh. But luckily, since Rydia left, we got a free deal. So that was nice. Rydia got. Nothing left. Did they upgrade to the new version of Android? And I love this animation. Yes, the Deus Ex Machina. Oh, Deus Ex Machina. I never saw that coming. Deus Ex Machina. Oh, and the edge showed up to save the day. Oh wow, this story's deep. Look at the symbolism. It's named. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem like this. Enemy is too bad. Kamigari Zokusei is not bad. But when she uses the spider's cloak, it's the equivalent of three casts. I don't know exactly, but yeah. It's either two or three. And then it's weak to thunder, so doing blitz and thundaga. Yeah, for those who don't know, unlike other Final Fantasy games, slow does stack in this game. So that matters quite a bit. Yeah, because. Instead of just being kind of a straight buff or debuff, haste or, or I guess slow in this game、um, affects your agility or your ATB speed. So now look, Rydia's gone. Where did she go? Palom がいなかったらおそらくこのゲームは住んでいる気はしますね。I got a couple donations here for you guys. You ready? Yep. Sure. That means you. This one says is ten dollars. Sorry. 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 <laughs> hey, he's not gonna deny it. <laughs> so anyway, we found Rydia, except now she's attacking. Just now, not the hazo no. Rydia got to get the. Show fun, Joe. So. I mean, just because you let her fall into the ocean and you know lose years of her life, and surrounded by monsters, now she's angry. Yeah. I want to know what happened at that party. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is the dare. They're playing truth and dare, and they're like, "I bet you won't kill your party members." <laughs> so he's like, "Well, okay." So I, mean, I have to be a little bit careful with the timing on this because if Edge and Cecil attack while there is no summon out, then they'll just whiff and attack nothing. So I just want to make sure that they're not queued up to attack. So this might finish them off. So yeah, turn off auto battle and wait. Well, you can go ahead and care. But I don't want Cecil to get queued up to attack until the next summon comes. Enjoying 
just upbeat music. Yeah, now this Buzaga's gonna do nothing. I didn't time that quite right. That was the timing. So, the timing. I was going to go to the party. It does amuse me to see you casting Fyraga, this glowing red enemy, too. Oh, yeah. I was thinking. Titans or Ridia's thinking, you know, I didn't say Quake, I said Cake. We wanted more Cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now look, he's really angry. Oh, he's doing squats. Yeah. Oh, boy. Gotta get those thighs <laughs> exercised, you know? Yeah, she's on Bahamut. Ooh, really squishy looking Bahamut, too. Bahamut, not going to hold Swiss. Uh oh. Mega Flare, I think we're in trouble. Uh oh. Yeah, we're really in trouble. Who would have expected? But wait, what's happening? Has you noticed that Radia's name out down at the bottom has a question mark? Oh, yeah. Whoa, oh, cause look, here's the real Radia. How does Mist Dragon take down Bahamut, the king of Omega Dragon? How does Mist Dragon take down Bahamut, the king of Omega Dragon? I don't know. Regicide, I guess. Oh, regicide. Regicide. Now we're fighting Radia, question mark. She... ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Let's see what our final time was on here. 32 minutes, not bad. Okay. Well, cool, great run, thank you. Yes, thank you everyone for tuning into the before after years. Nice. <laughs> and let's all get ready for some more silly games. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Essentia, for that incredible run of Final Fantasy IV Interlude. Uh, and up next, we have Swords and Serpents from Panzer Dave. Uh, please keep in mind that we do have a incentive coming for that to name the characters. Uh, the top four names are used, and right now, that is really anyone's game. Uh, they're very close together, so get those donations in. Uh, just a reminder, this is RPG Limit Break 2018, and we are coming to you from Salt Lake City, Utah. We're raising money for NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness, which was formed in 1979 as a grassroots advocacy organization by a group of parents whose children suffered with mental illnesses, and NAMI have maintained that focus. We did have a couple donations uh, in right after the run. $20 from Dosium175 that says the prequel and sequel to the best games ever. At least one of those is true. $20 to name the hero in Legend of Mana, Parabol. Thank you so much for that. Sword and Pump. I'd like to take this time to thank uh, a proud partner of ours, the Yeti who this year are bringing you eight amazing looking t-shirts. Head over to theyeti.com forward slash RPG Limit Break and take a look at the designs. Pick up the ones you want and know that $4 from every t-shirt purchase will be donated directly to NAMI. Remember, Yeti is spelled Y-E-T-E-E. -E -E. Uh, that is theyeti.com slash RPGLB. T-H-E-Y-E-T-E-E dot com. ちょっとだけ見たんですけど。みんなで入る。ワークメンバーフレンド。ワークメンバーフレンド。ワークメンバーフレンド。ワークメンバーフレンド。ワークメンバーフレンド。ワークメンバーフレンド。ワークメンバ
Basama, all right, so uh, your game uh, is made by Tecmo, right? Yes. That's cool. I thought they made sports games. Uh, yeah, yeah, go sports, go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, I guess I'll ask you a football question. Uh, oh. Houston Rockets won tonight. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. <laughs> they, they, they it must have shot far. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. All right. Um, so, yeah, you've got a video game. Uh, is it an RPG? It is, yes. That's a fantasy awesome. RPG. Oh, yeah. uh, Secret of the Stars, right? Indeed, yeah, was, I did my research on this interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's cool. You're doing that video game. Yeah, um, yeah. So actually, tell me a little bit about, because <laughs> I just want to know what is the story of how Tecmo came to make an RPG? Um, I'm about 98% confident they were just doing it for a paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, <laughs> trying to get in there when RPGs were hot? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, especially with the games coming up before and after. Oh, you know, sure, gotta, sure, gotta sure. Get in there. <laughs> now, do you actually unironically like this game? I this is silly block, not awful block necessarily. You know, I do. I actually do enjoy the game quite a bit. <laughs> now, I want you to tell me, uh, how good is, uh, it was the 90s. Mm. Uh, was uh, the translation team pretty good with it? Oh, fantastic. One single person did a stellar <laughs> job. Yeah. Are, are there something about tacos or something yes, that they yes. mistranslated in uh, that? Tacos, there's sour cerises, which is supposed to be sorceress. Sure. There's supposed to be our famous boss named Hom Cruise. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Hom Cruise? Hom Cruise, the yes. Clarkin. Uh, Clarkin, yes, the Clarkin. <laughs> Well, ladies I and gentlemen, that is our perfect segue <laughs> into for a $5 minimum donation during at some point during this silly block here. What, when is it? <laughs> during the silly block for $5, which is an absolute steal, you can get this thing. Uh, this, be here, oh, you were going to read it. This be, ah, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, who wrote this? All right. This be book, bad translation, video games. A guided tour of the funniest and strangest translation mistakes throughout video game history by mm. Clyde Mandolin and Tony Kajar. I'm sure they weren't the ones who donated this necessarily, but <laughs> thank you, whoever donated that, for a minimum of $5 donation during the next seven amazing RPGs, classics. Uh, donated by Fan Gamer, the one and only. Glad we got your shout outs in there. Essentially, she is more professional than me. Um, <laughs> and also for a minimum uh, $10 donation during, I believe, Charles. Berkeley, yeah, yeah. Or <laughs> yeah, during Charles Barkley, <laughs> during the silly block, all of it. <laughs> this stayed. This interview stayed silly all the way through. <laughs> it was just me talking. Uh, Charles, uh, through all of the silly block, uh, there is a Charles Barkley shut up a jam guide uh, uh, pillowcase that will be super dope. You got to get in there for a ten dollar donation. So just donate ten dollars. You're into the drawing for both of these. Also, a reminder. Minimum $75 donation to get into the drawing for the grand prize, the Nintendo Switch bundle. Do you have one yet? Uh, no. Oh, <laughs> have you donated yet? Uh, no. Oh, we'll work on that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want to feel like I'm forcing her to. All right, cool. All right, well, with that, guys, we're going to kick you up back to the front. What who was seven interviews ago? Swords and Serpents by Panzer Dave. Enjoy Silly Block, guys. We are going to cut to a 90 second ad, so make sure you guys stay tuned. <laughs> 